Hello everyone and welcome back to Popcorn and Piggy. It's Sam, welcome back. The pigs are here. It's a slight change already at Popcorn and Piggy and this will all be explained in next week's video. So make sure if you haven't already to hit subscribe so that you do not miss that video. And today's video is gonna be a guinea pig haul of all the items that I have recently purchased. So let's get started. So all of the items that I've recently purchased were actually purchased all together. We have recently had guinea pig appreciation day and just as I did in the popcorn and piggy shop I had a discount for the day and the place that I bought all these things from also had a discount for the day so obviously I utilized it to get a few items that I'd kind of been thinking about getting and if I show you these items it might give you a bit of a clue so if you are not aware of the brilliant hay pigs who do at the moment circus themed items for small animals particularly guinea pigs but they're often used by other animals too um they have hinted on the podcast episode that i did with them that there are other things to come which is super exciting um, and if you haven't already listened to that podcast episode but let's get into the items that i bought these were all from hay pigs on guinea pig appreciation day number one i obviously had to get myself a few hay pigs fleece items because the pigs love their fleece items they I love them in the winter to snuggle up to hi Miko <laughs> um as well as even during the summer like even if it's kind of a cooler day like today I'm in a sweatshirt it's not that warm today in the UK so they love a good snuggle so of course I had to get the piggy crash mat this has already been well loved by Digger himself it has so much brown hair in brown you're not brown you're black black hair in it already it's actually due a wash but it has been so well loved um, he just loves to flat out pancake in this. You can see I've had to put a pillow in right now to the cage just as like some kind of fill a void because him and Digger and Finn really, really loved this. So I think this is going to be a staple in the cage long term. And yeah, we'll see how Rolo and Miko deal with it as well. I think it'll be interesting. They're a bit more shy, so they might still want the um, overcover protection. Speaking of which, the other item I got was obviously the circus tent. Now, this fantastically comes with two, um, what are they called? Fleece liners. So this one you can see is already covered in hair. It needs a wash because also this was in Finn and uh, Digger's cage. And they loved this. They also loved knocking it over, surprisingly. Um, but they also did enjoy going within it. In fact, Finn really enjoyed sleeping within this, which for a piggy who often doesn't sleep inside things was really, really lovely to see. So yeah, I love the fact that it has the two liners so that I can swap them over really, really simply. Um, and also it's just good, fun. It looks cute in the cage. I have some fleece that is kind of this blue with stars on. So this all goes perfectly as a set with everything together and it just looks amazing so yeah these are all fantastic quality i love all the packaging that it came with like there's a little ticket which is kind of like the label i've kept those because those were really nice um yeah so a treat not only for the piggies on guinea pig appreciation day but also for me um because i love to see them utilize these things so the other items I got went along with that. Like I said, Hay Pigs had a discount on um, and I've been eyeing up a few treats. And also if you order over $40, you get um, free delivery. So I obviously, with these two, um, it didn't quite make $40. So I bought a couple of extra things to help get me the free shipping because that's what we're all about, the free shipping. Did you see that popcorn? <laughs> okay, so the they have a deal on actually with the crash mat which if you buy the crash mat you can also get some burgess treats and the boys have had both of these before and really really enjoyed them everyone except finn enjoyed them finn you will see a common thing that finn only likes pea flakes he doesn't only like pea flakes but he wants pea flakes and so i will ignore everything else that's finn <laughs> but the boys and especially rollo loved the blueberry bakes um and i think the parsley ones were also fun but they really really enjoyed the blueberry so seeing as i could have got the crush mat on its own or with these and there really was no difference in price i obviously went to get some extra treats so yeah the boys have enjoyed these before and so it was a no-brainer that i obviously got them hi <laughs> 
The other treats that I got, again, these were all 20% off and I've been eyeing them as to something to try. So the boys have not tried these at the moment. The first one is a Rosewood, Na Rosewood Naturals Snap and Share Vegetable Bar. As you can see, they've already been numbing down on this. Finn, again, as usual, is not fussed, but everyone else really enjoys these, especially Rolo. These are, I think, possibly Rolo's new favourite treat. Um, it won't last long. You snap it apart and it breaks into lots of little bits, but I am finding that when you break it, it's not like an even break. It does break in like big and small pieces, which when you want to give everyone the same kind of size snack, it's a bit awkward, but if you put it in the cage, they will gnaw down on it and it's really, really good. It's really, really healthy. I really love Rosewood. They do a lot of great items. You will have seen the Carrot Cottage top on my um, uh, YouTube. Shh, I'm trying to film a video <laughs> um, on my YouTube channel quite a lot. So yeah, I love Rosewood. They do amazing things. And this was the latest one that I tried. Would I repurchase this one? Probably not, but it was good to try out. And then the last item, which again, I've been wanting to try, is the Innocent Guinea Range. And this one is the Herb Garden Nibbles with parsley, sage, rose and thyme. And again, this was bought from Hay Pigs with everything else to get me over the $40 free shipping. Um, yeah, this has been hit or miss. The Rolo absolutely despised these in a sense that he nibbled on it and the instant reaction was, Oh, he did not enjoy the taste at all. But, um, as usual, Finn just wants beef flakes. But Digger and Miko have really, really enjoyed these. And they're really, really healthy. Like, it's all natural ingredients again. It's all vegetables and kind of herbs. And so, as a treat, it's really, really nice. I love the fact that it has a seal close um, container, um, which obviously keeps them fresher for longer. It's a nice, tiny package as well, so it doesn't take up too much space. Um, so, yeah. So, although this has been hit and miss with the piggies, I love the actual, um, the fact that some of them have enjoyed it and the packaging. So I would be interesting. I think they do a variety of these. I would be interested in trying some of the other ones that they do. But this one has been Rolo's least favourite. <laughs> um, but it was worth trying. So those were all the things in my recent haul. Like I said, I got these on Guinea Pig Appreciation Day. I paid for everything myself, um, but I did utilise the discount from Hay Pigs on Guinea Pig Appreciation Day. So I will leave all the links down below to Hay Pigs as well as anything for the Innocent Guide um, directly because you can buy these direct. You don't have to go to Hay Pigs. But yeah, I'll leave all the links down below. Let me know if your Guinea Pigs have tried any of these treats or had, have any of these items and if they like them or not um, and also let me know your guinea pig's favorite fleece um, Heidi I would love to know if you haven't already please subscribe don't forget to like this video it lets me know that you are enjoying the content and yeah if you want to know what's going on over here make sure you subscribe and catch next week's video <laughs> Miko turns up just at the end <laughs> see you all next week